the way I teach, I think, exemplifies the recognition networks. As an example, in every class begins with an interactive exercise, a warm-up, I call it. But the warm-up is specific to the, to the lesson of the class so that students get an active way of seeing what the information is about. Uh, in one, for example, it'll, we'll be talking about international trade and trade um, problems. And what I've done is come up with an exercise. I found an exercise online in which students will be divided into two groups. One and they two groups will have totally different cultures. And they will, one group will be trying to sell something, the other will be trying to buy something, but they don't communicate well. So this gives them an experience of international trade. Then there's material in the book. Then there's the discussion in class of the specific items that are uh, concerned with international trade. So they've got lecture, they've got demonstration, they've got interactive. They usually have to write some kind of paper or reflection based on that as well. So it gives them a chance to think about what they've learned and acknowledge it. One of the fun things that I do in uh, recognition networks is a thing I call um, culture shock. And basically the students are divided into four teams and each team gets a culture. And it's a weird culture from a weird country that they've never heard of. And the culture has a specific way of communicating and they have habits that are kind of strange for other people, like one culture likes to look in your pocket. Another culture likes to, if you're going to talk, you have to sit down. And we go through an exercise where they try to communicate with each of the other cultures. They try to set up a situation where they can have a dance, because all of these cultures have come together in a, in a, a refugee camp. This is the example that I used, a refugee camp where they're, um, they need to get along. They need to communicate with each other. And after we go through the exercise, the students put out what they learned about the other cultures. And those that said, oh, those, were, those people steal. How do you know? Well, they wanted to look in our pockets. Did they take anything? No. So then we ask the students who were looking in the pockets, and they say, well, we look in the pockets because if you let us look in your pockets, you're opening yourself to us and we know we can trust you. And what about the students that sit down, only want to sit down to talk? Well, in their culture, when you sit down, you can't fight. So they learn about each other's culture. And I think this is good not just for students, but also for teachers, because all of your students come together with some cultural differences that are unusual as well. And it's a good idea to bring that out in class and let them talk about it and let them explain to other people why they have those particular cultural standards or cultural activities that they do. And if we want to have diversity that actually works, people have to take the time to understand each other and teachers have to also.